Well, Mark, it's good to finally have you here. It's been many years in the planning, it feels yeah. like. And uh, our first afternoon, the range was good. The gunworks behaved itself, and I think we're in for a wonderful week. The, the neat thing about this week and this time of year, when you year late April as it is right now, the summer rains have been immense. As you can see, the waterways are filled with water, even below us, plenty of water here. But um, it's the start of the wrap. I'm pretty sure we're going to start seeing yeah. a bunch of kudu starting to follow the cows, and that's always the exciting time of year for us to hunt. So this week, um, you can prepare to be amazed. You're going to see amazing sights. You're going to see scenery. We're going to hunt big country. We're going to hunt up in the mountains. We're going to hunt these forests along the coastal region here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, a wide variety of terrain, species, and habitat. And together, I think it's a unique experience for you, something that you would not have seen before. And something I look forward to sharing with you. Well, I look forward to it too, Carl. markets our first morning out and a plague of locusts is upon us yeah. with the unbelievable summer rains we've had it's just unbelievable to see how everything's reacted even the insects so we've got huge swarms of locusts at the moment and a lot of them is misunderstood people don't know you know what 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 they do you know if they're good if they're bad i think there's a lot to be learned about them but this morning you're experiencing it firsthand they they've come to the good green stuff and as long as there's food they like it and they hang around and there we'll work our way around earlier we saw some black wildebeest kind of making their way up and over into the wind and let's just get on their top side for the wind and let's see if we can get onto that group but nothing yet just a bunch of impala and ostriches and gamsbuck decided to head out and you've had your first experience with the clowns of Africa. Yeah, just one minute they're there and then for no reason at all up and go. Always nervous. Always nervous. this afternoon and see if we can maybe get ourselves onto a nice black wildebeest. We spotted one from across the way obviously a lone bull and I'm hoping we can use this blind ground and see if we can get up and over and maybe we go undetected. 
but plenty of eyes and ears around. Lots of springbuck off to our left here. We got gemsbuck on the horizon there. But always fun to be out, see all the different species and try and get on something. very comfortable you can squeeze it off into the chest okay my man <laughs> that was an experience I tell you that was a you know wild afternoon we've, uh, we've we've gone full circle we started out below us we've kind of gone with the wind to get into the wind yes. and we've we've busted out a bunch of animals and uh, Finally, we got ourselves a nice black wildebeest. No, Thank you, Carl. It's a pleasure, my friend. Let's go and have a look at my him there. My first African animal. Your first African animal. Let's go check it out. The black wildebeest. Going for a start in Africa, we got ourselves a wonderful black wildebeest, and it's something you told me about a few years ago. Yes. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, Carl. It's, your it's uh, first. What an adventure. Yeah, first day on the plains and a beautiful black wildebeest. Great. Awesome. Oh, it's nice and clean and crisp this morning and yeah. I can tell you the game everything looks washed and, and fresh you know yeah. that, what a difference from yesterday to today it's a different feel yeah absolutely hoping the blessed buck will cooperate and hoping we can <laughs> maybe get a chance use his draw and come up and over but there's a bunch of game around nice to see Just below those blue all the bees. They're just through the other side. So let's see if we make our way down this draw. There is a bit of a brush line on the bottom. Maybe we can work that or maybe the slope gives us a bit of a you know advantage to work with blind ground. your time squeeze it off good shot <laughs> I like that saying the doubt is done and right there it means the most perfect shot at 550 it is a long shot but you've got the equipment got the skill sure. you can do it ethical kill great great animal very nice Congrats. Let's walk up there. Let's walk through the valley, up the other side, and go and have a look at your blessed buck. Be mature. He's big on okay. the body. It was okay. easier for me to identify with right. you and talk you through it, and you were able to find it quicker. Yeah. And then, oh, you presented beautifully. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better broadside. Than... I love what uh, you and and uh, Aaron yeah. talk about. A week in Africa 
Yeah. It's like 10 years experience in one week. Exactly. And, and it's so true. It's 100% you know? true. It's not a cliche that you're saying. Wow. This is an ancient place, Buck. Absolutely ancient. If you look here, that perspex only comes through when they're really old like that. Mm -hmm. And then also, I mean, this guy's bases are smooth, smooth as can be. And I mean, this is a proper old mature ram. I mean, he's well past his prime. And if ever you can be impressed, that's impressive. Very nice. So, uh, a bless buck because of the bless. That is okay. a bless in Dutch. It's being bald. And right. I said that the bless, that is like a bless on the face. Beautiful. Very nice. Congratulations. Oh. A hell of a shot. A fun morning out on the plains after the rain, seeing the game, you know, in the condition they are. And uh, oh, walking up to a guy like this and this, I mean, this is good meat for camp. We're going to enjoy every yeah. pound of it. Thank and you so uh, you're going to be able to share your bless back with the rest of the hunters. Yeah. Awesome. Mark, we're heading north today. Um, we're currently traveling through an area called the Siskai, and it's a traditional homelands area from uh, back in the 70s and in the 80s. And we've kind of left some of the weather behind, the rain. We're coming out of that, and we're hoping as we go further north this morning, we'll get into some better conditions, you know, where the, the, the cold front's not following us. So we're going to be off to Kudu today. Might look at some gemsbuck, uh, we might even see springbuck. Uh, but our main focus the next few days will be kudu. But for now, it's onwards and upwards as we climb the escarpment. we want to leave Koki here and if you look down here you see that green green spot down there yeah you just there. down here yo, yo. Yeah. we're gonna leave the truck somewhere there the road goes there we'll leave the truck there Koki will sit here he'll watch from here see what that bull does that bull likes that one cow he wants to walk after that cow so then what we do is we we kind of cut into that draw he says we'll get a bit of advantage he says it's not as far as it looks he right. says from there he thinks we can find a position where we could get a shot across. If that doesn't work like that, we see what he does. We're just watching the wind's in our favor. Yeah, it's going to be It's very good. The wind's good. Mark, we've obviously spotted this ball from quite high and we've made our way down. Left Corky, I might keep watching, keep watching this ball. We've got a bit of other game to deal with here. I mean, obviously this good ball's kind of meandering in between the cows, but there's a group of black bulls. There's some zebra and there's also some impala. So to the best of our ability, we must just weave our way through these thorns and get into a position where we can hopefully see him and he gives us a chance. But he's a beautiful looking bull from up there. Love to see him up close. I see those wildebeest and zebra and I can also 
see some groovy bells, he must be there. the shoulder. Wait for him to stop and be clear. It's a brush. It's a brush right there. If you can take him, take him. If you can't, you can't. Right there. Ready? Good shot. Great shot. Great shot. You don't have to shoot again. Great shot. a big black tree in front of him, am I right? Yeah. That's him. Put one through there. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. And then it stopped in the wrong place and then I said to you, Bit man, brush. well you had brush and I said to you, Mark, if you can, but only if you can, and then you, somehow the bull stepped forward like a half a yard, it was, it you made touched. the most incredible shot on that half a yard because then, you hit him so perfect because there's a slight breeze coming through that draw there, left to right. You hit him absolutely perfect. The second shot, even better. Okay. On the shoulder, so he turned. So the fr first one you hit him this side, he was facing that way, this shoulder. The other, next time you hit him, perfect. Absolutely perfect. This was a perfect little platform, eh? Yeah. Perfect. I, uh, it's more comfortable. If I go through, I'm going to that mountains, left of that peak of that mountain. That is direction. Mark, well, this is where he came down. There's a little bit of blood here, mate. Little bit of blood here. Yeah, all it. There we go. Oh my gosh. Hey? Look at that. Isn't that what we've been after? Why don't oh. you put your gun against the bush here? Come and have a look at this. Oh, I'm just going to move him. There. He's massive. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pool. I want to share it with the, with the viewers as well. Hey? I'm Isn't that everything one would hope for in a kudu? Really, I mean, the neck. The color, the age, I mean the white tips like this, the age is just spectacular. And then this Roman nose, I'm gonna, I, I wanna lift this a little bit, I wanna, yeah, I wanna actually, he's a bit heavy, but that Roman nose with a chevron. Right here. That is what makes it special. When I look at a bull from far, yeah. 
Yes. I, I want to see that. And, and when I saw this, I knew it was something that you were after, after our discussions previously. And you always said to me, Kudu. Kudu is why I'm going to Africa. Mark, your kudu is only ever a first kudu. It's a wonderful feeling. Congratulations so on much, a Carl. hell of a bull. And uh, we're going to enjoy this. This is going to be a, a day to remember. Thank you. The rain overnight has been unbelievable, eh? And a wet toe. Here's a game spot track. Good sun. Um, so these Tarasti and them obviously hunting up on the mountain. They've spotted these games but up in these thorns. But if we're going to get a chance, it's going to be at close, close quarters. So we've got the sound of the river. Kind of quiet conditions. We've got some cover. And if we just meander slowly, maybe we get a chance, maybe we don't. But we'll give it a go. Over these tracks, this is them just cutting around the nose. These tracks are going like this. I think we just cut over like this. The river is obviously our friend. There's a boundary below us. If we cut across, hopefully we'll catch up with them. Just let them settle again. The They're coming out into the plain, which is good. We've been on to Gamesbuck all morning and I think nothing nothing needs a change more than us right now. We've been soundly beaten. Um, we've sat within a hundred yards of them at numerous occasions this morning and we've spotted some more Gamesbuck this afternoon but in a difficult spot. And now um, I saw a group of zebra. You actually spotted those zebra while we were looking at Gamesbuck and we're going to make our way into the wind and see if we can come up and over. And the zebra were, you know, below us where we last saw them. And hopefully they're still down below us and see if we can get on into a nice zebra. And uh, hopefully the weather will hold. It's the first afternoon without rain. behind the bush yeah. it's starting to come up over the top of the other one am I right yeah okay just wait I should I know if you have a shot he's licking his leg. yeah licking the leg yeah, yeah. just wait <laughs> have you got a shot behind the shoulder yeah okay take it down reload Mark, this, my friend, is what you were after, a proper zebra. And we looked over a lot of zebra, and we finally decided late in the afternoon to go after this zebra. And I mean, just spectacular. He's a brute of a stallion. Um, and I would say more than 10 years old by just looking at his cutter. Yeah. Uh, but spectacular. 
Yeah, I noticed here, Carl, I'm assuming this is battle scars. Again. Yes, absolutely, yeah. when they fight, you know, for dominance. Precisely, the ear. a bite, yeah. And but what, what surprised me was the, the closer you get to them, how vividly bright they are. Absolutely, and slick, slick, an old zebra like this, when they're fully mature, they are slick. There's no woolly hair on them. They absolutely, if you, if you rub your hand over that skin, yeah. it is short, short, slick hair. And I mean, this zebra is just spectacular. It's everything you would want in a zebra. Yeah. Your shot, even though at first I thought was, uh, I thought, man, I don't know if you hit it in the neck or hit it in the spine. You absolutely hit it perfect. You hit him right through the heart. And I think it's when the heart actually empties out and there's no, um, no pressure. You hit at that precise moment, you've cut the top of the heart off and the shot's on the other side, but I mean, it is perfect. Enjoy a lovely dinner with our friends and tomorrow morning we'll start again and we'll head out and live for Gensbach and keep at it. Be a new day. New day. Thank Cheers. you, Carl. Cheers, mate. We spotted those games back up top here. All we want to do now is try and make our way into these thorn trees like this. Obviously using a bit of cover, staying off the plane here and hopefully anything that sees us will bust out that way. Our biggest problem here is a lot of other game. But if we can get up into these stones at the top here, sit for a while and see if these games will feed out of these thorn trees and I think we'll get a chance. Thank God for the water. The sound is just like, it's like a you like you're in the ocean. I like that, it's comforting. Yeah, very comforting, very nice. I just wanna try and get down into these thorns. We keep going down, I know it's quite steep, but once we're in these thorns, we're out of sight. They're about a thousand yards off now. Good shot, good shot, good shot. It got up. Right. It's now the one left walking the away. Last one. Yeah, the last one on the left. Okay, put another one into it, squeeze it off. What a shot, what a shot, what a shot. We needed that. That is a shot, my friend. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. That's a shot. <laughs> oh my word. Oh. By way, Keep it down. Down, down. Girl, you Woo! are stalking team. No, shit, that was. I've never seen a stalk like that. Yeah, it was good fun, man. Oh. Good fun. I tell you what, that first shot. We zagged, we yeah. crawled. We... Man, we had to be patient, we had to get them to get up, and I tell you, it just worked. And when we arrived here, yeah, immediately there was wind at our backs. I was like, oh, I here we go shit. again. I yeah. thought we were busted. But, but I think it was cutting across, you know, just because the wildebeest also only just got up now, so right. it's a good sign. That. And it's a bull exactly what I said. That is a nice hand spot. Big, big bases, he's got good length on him. Wow. And I said to you that first shot's high. That's what dropped him. That he shocked his spine. But then, I mean you follow up immense. Immense. I mean really what a good reaction and oh my friend. That there is why many folks travel to Africa to come and hunt these species and this terrain and to enjoy the challenge, which you've certainly had, eh? It was. It's been a challenge. It's uh, It's been a good challenge. I tell you, it has frustrated us. I think our kneecaps have a few blisters. Our backsides are worn through. That's but part of it. Part of it. But we have worked and we have persisted. And hats off to you. You never quit on me. You said, man, let's do it. I'd say, let's go. And you'd be ready to go again. So oh. you earned this one. I hope it's going to be a wonderful memory. I'm sure yeah. I'm going to remember it. And <laughs> All the crawling. All the crawling. And Really, it's a nice hands but so beautiful. Thank Congrats. you so much, Carl. Cheers, man. I got him right there. Okay. Down. What a shot. <laughs> what wow. a shot. What a shot. Woo! Did he go straight down? Man, it, it, I don't know if you've seen those old, uh, those old, some of those old videos with the elephants where they, the head goes up and then, oh. boom. Is that a, what he did? You, you hit him absolutely through the, through the shoulders. Um, on that hard quarter, and all he did was just this. Yeah. Doof, done. No, it's hard to, hard to see what is it right now. It's a beautiful ram. You will be happy. But yeah. Mark, what is so so awesome about this Impala? Obviously, living on his own, um, out of the herd, good ram to take. Absolutely perfect that quarter. That worked beautifully. Um, but. If you look at this guy's age, if you can see, you see that bit of a perspex color coming through there? Very see yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, that comes with age. He's got the secondary growth. I mean, just a great ram. And he kicks up. Yeah. Uh, not all of them kick out. So, so you can oh, see that it kicks up. It's not that box shape. He kicks out ever so slightly. So, awesome ram to take. Um, one of our most prolific species and one that was important to you. Mm -hmm. So, good dog. Good dog. Flash. Good dog. Yeah, it's a classic, I, I feel. It's, it's, Absolutely. It's, yeah. Absolutely. So
us as one to us. Let's see, they're feeding this way naturally. If maybe we get to this next tree, we just wait there. They're going to feed within range, okay? It's obviously too high. I'm going to give you a rock for the back. Can take him down. I was just concentrating on the shot. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to the wind. Yeah. Oh, but he's down, man. Girl. Cheers, mate. Very nice. Very nice. He, uh, it's perfect here in the shade, it, eh? It was perfect here. Yeah, it was. Yeah, just, just the rocks perfect. weren't high enough. Yeah. And actually, I was I could see the grass, but I thought I, it was a little. I didn't think it would affect it, which obviously it didn't. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's something that we, we always say it's one of the most underrated animals, and you know, hunting them just passively, like it's just walking slowly, meandering through these hills, and finding rams and their territories. And this ram, obviously, we watched for a while, and, and he was coming beautifully. I thought to myself, if we wait here in the shade, he wouldn't see us. You had set up nicely, and then for some reason, oh, we just thought I'll check on those females. They turned and started working way back, and then obviously, you made a Made a good shot there, um, and unfortunately, GR camera was just off a little bit over your shoulder, and he went in just behind the bush. But I think one can just see that head through there. So well, I did quite nice. He presented the shot exactly, and, he had, and it's just that's yeah, when you take it exactly. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna put my stuff down. It is a nice ram, man. Beautiful, nice ram. Big old dominant guy here in his territory, and. Uh, you are really neat and like I said, a national animal okay. and uh, part of what what is our great love and joy for these animals is that so many of us, like I said, you start the spring buck and impala when we young, when we young and we started hunting and I started with the spring buck and the great Karoo. So obviously close to my heart and I say one of the most underrated animals to hunt and to eat. Right. Very good eating this. And traditionally, most of us make biltong from this, make our dried jerky. And yeah, this particular ram is a, 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 a what, what I like, it's got the classical little hook. So I'm gonna just turn okay. and show you how it hooks back. And not all springbuck have that, but pretty nice to see him have those hooks. And right. yeah, he's got good mass, he's got hooks, he's a nice mature ram, and he uh, he brings to, to an end a good morning, walking and yeah. meandering through these hills. and and trying to look a very spring buck. But a nice ram and one wheel, get back to the meat locker, get into the pool room. It's gonna be hot today. Uh, so we can do a bunch with the meat. Good shot here, we don't have any damage. And uh, get his skin off and, Beautiful. and preserve your memory. Thank you, Carl. It's a pleasure, sir. Great. Pleasure, man. Yeah, Mark, I tell you, these are some of the hidden gems on safari. Um, we're on the Great Fish River and the water's flowing below us. And right here is, I thought I wanted to bring you on our last day, is these are the, the caves and, and some of the sacred places of the Bushmen who first inhabited this land up to 20,000 years ago. And you will see some of the painting on the walls as you look against this cave. And, and so this, these paintings are between three and 5,000 years old. That's how long. The, the, the paint loss and they made this from animal blood, the soot from fire and fat from animals and, and they would paint and, and depict scenes of, of what they did and hunting and they, they were the original hunters and gatherers of this part of Africa here and I thought it was fitting that on our last day I'll bring you here. Uh, this is our ancestor, this is the hunting, you know, this is where that instinct comes from and it's been such a wonderful safari with you. Uh, we've had a wonderful week together and yes. I look forward to us doing it again. I hope and so. Yeah, so an uh, awesome hunt, Mom. It's been great. Thank it's you been so much. Wonderful, Carl. and uh, may we do it again.
wonderful memories.